A Chinese tech executive released after being detained in Canada for nearly three years returned home today. Meng Wanzhou is the daughter of Huawei's founder. Her arrival follows Beijing's release of two jailed Canadians. China denies their detention was retaliation for Meng's arrest, but the apparent swap closes a damaging diplomatic dispute between Beijing and the West. CBS's Remy Innocencio has more. A plane carrying the man known as the two Michaels touched down in Calgary before dawn on Saturday. Michael Spavor, a business consultant, and Michael Kovrig, a former diplomat, had been jailed more than a thousand days, accused of espionage by China. Their ordeal, described as terrible by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Uh, they have shown strength, perseverance, resilience, and grace, and we are all inspired by that. Canada says the men were seized after immigration officials detained Meng Wanzhou, a senior executive with the Chinese telecom giant Huawei at Vancouver Airport in 2018 at the request of U.S. officials. She was wanted on charges of violating U.S. sanctions on Iran. For three years, Meng battled extradition while under house arrest at her luxury mansion in Vancouver. Then Friday, in a surprise move, a deal was struck for her release. My life has been turned upside down. It was disruptive time for me as a mother, a wife, and a company executive. Today, she returned to China a hero. Meng had pled not guilty, but as part of her deal, she did confirm she misrepresented Huawei's business dealings with Iran to HSBC, violating U.S. sanctions. China claims Meng's case and the case of the two Canadians are not linked, but critics describe China's actions as hostage diplomacy. While it's over for Meng and the two Michaels, it's not over for Huawei, the company, just yet. Its headquarters is based just right across the border from here in Hong Kong over in Shenzhen. U.S. prosecutors are now saying that they are going to do another trial against the company. They're prepping for that on related fraud charges. The company itself tells CBS News that they are prepping for every kind of defense and will fight against every allegation. Ramey Nascencio, CBS News, Hong Kong.